What's up, everybody? Welcome to Game Freak. In today's episode, we're going to talk about what Nintendo's doing and how they're going after these emulation sites, and they're really throwing the hammer down on their own fan base for going to these sites. Now, a lot of this information I got off of a site called sportskita.com, so let's just jump into it. Now, I get it when it comes to current generation titles. That's definitely a topic of its own. But Nintendo has continued to stand against the emulation of games dating back decades. Listen, these older games, which are the majority of the games being emulated, are no longer in production. I really don't see a problem with this. Why pay outrageous prices to a third party seller for these games? That money, or even a portion of it, wouldn't even be going to the gaming company, designers, etc. anyway. Third party sellers aren't given a portion to companies like EA, Konami, Acclaim, or whatever company made the game. They never have. These companies were only making money on the games when those games were in production. When these pre owned games are being resold, these companies like I said, that made a game, made the games, already made their money on initial sales. It's absolutely ridiculous to pay an ungodly amount of money for a game that's now out of production when you can easily just go the emulation route and save some cash. Why would Nintendo bitch about this? They are a multi-billion dollar company already, and they wouldn't be making a dime off of these out of production games that third party sellers are selling. The exact same results as people getting these games via emulators. That's just what would happen. If Nintendo truly cared about their fans and supporters who made them the giants that they are today, they wouldn't be taking their fans to court for petty shit like this. They won't lose everyone nor will it hurt their pockets, but sooner or later, I think this could hurt their reputation as a company, at least. In many regards, Nintendo has maintained that if players wish to experience its retro titles, they should do so by purchasing them physically, while the company's virtual emulation services have become more cost-effective in recent years. Many games have been left out from services such as Switch Online. Retro games, by and large, don't affect the current sales numbers for Nintendo. So asking fans to spend large amounts of money to be able to play the games they love in a physical context is an unreasonable request. Nintendo needs to understand that if a gamer can't find a certain game on a virtual console service, or can't afford to spend hundreds or thousands of dollars on retro gaming hardware, using emulation sites is one of the only remaining options on the table. Because that shit's expensive, man. These retro stores and different sites, they they just sell this shit at like crazy prices. So Nintendo is basically suggesting that if players don't have physical copies, they should buy a digital version from one of their online stores. But why should a gamer have to purchase the same game multiple times, especially if no improvements or or adjustments have been made? This is just Nintendo acting like an entitled billionaire baby. We are super rich, we should always get our way. They also need to realize that there is the subject of abandoned wear titles, which are games that were produced and are no, now ignored and unsupported by their developers and manufacturers. These titles no longer generate revenue and have not had their IP rights renewed. So Nintendo, I ask you this, is it still theft if the game has been abandoned by its own creators? At the end of the day, Certain aspects of emulation can and should be considered illegal when a game is still in circulation. But Nintendo is throwing the hammer to its own fan base for emulating classic and forgotten games. 
honestly, that does more harm than good for the company. I don't see Sony throwing lawsuits at every player using PCS X2, which is a free and open source PS2 emulator for Windows, just because Sony's fan base is using it to enjoy PS2 classics like God of War 2. Nintendo was a huge part of my childhood gaming. It's pretty shitty to see what they're doing. It'd be a shame if their own greed and attempts to stick it to their own fan base results in their own destruction. With the amount of wealth they have acquired throughout the years, I highly doubt that will happen. But it's inevitable that they'll lose a decent chunk of their fan faithful. Let me know what you guys think of this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. More videos to come. Game on.